in 2020, the University of Alabama Center for the Study of Tobacco and Society moved its vast collection on the tobacco industry, cigarette marketing, and anti-smoking activism, the largest at any university in the world, to a specially designed state-of-the-art facility in the School of Medicine. This would not have been possible without the leadership of Dean Ricky Friend and the support and inspiration of Mrs. Celia Wallace and Dr. Rick Richards. We made the decision in 2016 to shift our focus from the production of exhibitions for museums and libraries to the creation of educational exhibitions on our website. We've been able to meet the many challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Indeed, we haven't skipped a beat. We've been more productive than at any time in our 21-year history, and our website has attracted growing interest from teachers and students from middle schools to medical schools. A brief overview of our work in the past two years includes adding to our record for most research presentations at both the World Conference on Tobacco or Health and the National Conference on Tobacco and Health. The creation of original online exhibitions including Museum Malignancy, Tobacco Industry Sponsorship of the Arts, Kids Candy and Cigarettes, and Sports Plus Tobacco Equals a Losing Team. In addition to that online exhibition, we created a physical exhibition for the Paul W. Bear Bryant Museum. We've been invited to present at national and state conferences, including the American College Health Association and the Alabama Academy of Family Physicians. We've had guest editorials in the Cancer Letter and numerous op-ed commentaries in the Birmingham News and AL.com. Among the center's most gratifying ongoing efforts over the past 20 years have been the numerous projects with students in the Catherine J. Randall Research Scholar Program. We've done work on electronic cigarettes, tanning bed use by teenagers and college students, the university's role in curbing the adolescent obesity epidemic, the mental health effects of digital media addiction, and the targeting of alcohol advertising to college students. Hello, I'm Kevin Bailey, Collections Manager and Digital Archivist for the Center for the Study of Tobacco and Society, and I would like to take you on a tour of our new facilities here in Quad A of the Northeast Medical Building. Our new facility features an impressive display area in the lobby of the Northeast Medical Building. Complete with a television, this exhibit area is ideal for bringing attention to the center's remarkable collections and exhibitions. A magnificent entrance from the foyer of Quad A brings you to the center's front office. One of the most critical tools in the center is the studio quality recording area. The installation of soundproofing on the walls, among other technical and design features, provides the center's audio production with the highest quality. Another important feature of the center's archive are the high-density storage rolling shelves, which allow for enhanced arrangement and expedited access of material from the center's vast collections. And custom cabinetry for the center's large format holdings of research posters and rare vintage advertising banners and signs. An exciting new initiative of the Center for the Study of Tobacco and Society is its new internship program, uh, which is, uh, there's long been a collaboration between the School of Library Information Studies and CSTS, but uh, under the, the leadership of, uh, of the archivist and collections manager, Kevin Bailey, there's been a movement towards establishing a more formalized internship program, specifically, you know, oriented towards supporting students with an interest in public health and with health collections, and, and even more broadly, because of the center's focus on, on digital exhibitions, really, really folks interested in, in using innovative technology to make collections available to broader constituencies. Your uh, center is a, a, a living, a solid, palpable uh, reminder all the time that this is something that is serious and we need to stay on target. It is uh, that, uh, <clears throat> that uh, a prompting that is good to, and I, and I think it's been good for our residents to see. I think it's been good for our rural medical scholars to see, but I would certainly think that uh, people in the business school uh, that are interested in how business is influence, influential on health should be uh, looking at that. I think that uh, you've already demonstrated how historical methods can be used to, uh, to pull out themes that uh, are, are very important in the health of this nation. We hope you'll visit the University of Alabama Center for the Study of Tobacco and Society, but until you do, we hope you'll see our exhibitions on our website, CSTS, 
www.ua.edu.